Okay guys, I'm going to show you how to calculate the topographic position index abbreviated as TPI. So this is very useful when you have a digital elevation model, you want to know the landform classification or if it's a hilly, it's a valley, it's a ridge, a crater or even a flat plain. So I have my digital elevation model here, straight to the point, I'll go how, I'll show you how to do this in a very few minutes. So I'll go to my processing toolbox here, click this one or you have it in, uh, in the right hand side Then I'll search for topographic position index, here it is, so I double click it, I have so I'll put the input layer, which is the field digital version model, then band number one gray, leave everything by default, then hit the run button. So let us wait for it. Well, our QJS is calculating the topographic position index. As I said earlier, topographic position index is useful when you want to know the landform classification, if it's a hilly, if it's a ridge, if it's a flat plain, or even a crater. Using topographic position index gives you all those landform classification. So let us wait for it. Yes, bingo, it is calculating, let us give it some time. Okay, there we go. Yes, bingo, close. So this is it, it looks grayish, it doesn't give a very good meaning. Actually, on, on my left hand side, you have 36.5, that means this is the highest, this is the lowest. Let us give it a better visual here by clicking on properties, try to change uh, an impression. So I'll just go to CW color, I'll choose this, then I invent the color ramp, and I press okay. There you are, so you can see, so all these, you see, the ones in blue are the ones for instance, here on my key here on the left, these are the valley areas and these are the highest areas. So you can you can have a you can have such a look like this. So if you want to know this, you also have to activate your contours. And I have a, I made a video already on how to generate contours using DM, but you can always go to raster extraction contour. I'll drop a link on how this is done. But I have it already, so I'll try to turn it on so that we can have a look on our contours on top of the DM. So they are opening. Okay, now you can zoom here, you see? Zoom here and compare our topographic position index. You see, this is reddish, it's 1860 meter, and here it is 1770 meter. So as for the nature of the landform, that means there's some like a slope here going down. So you can always have a look like this, and using contours gives you like that feeling on how the landform is changing. So TPI, this is how it is used, so I can can show you, let us try to have a look. Oh wow, there is this, this looks a point of interest. So you see this looks like a hollow area. So you can always have a look. Oh, what's this? You see here, 855. So you can look at the contours. They start from 9, 960, 945 to 885. And this is almost like grayish here in the middle. See, it's like a hollow. You can always do the quality checks by just putting a Google hybrid here and just drag it down here at the bottom. Yeah, let us wait for it. We need internet connection. So it has to have a... What's this actually? So let us wait for it and I'll try to turn this off. Yes, and turn this... Turn this DM. Wow, there, bingo. So you see, it's like a hollow area. Wow, and good thing this is... Oh wow, in Engaruka. So this is a crater. Yeah, this is a crater. Actually, this is in Gorongoro in Tanzania. So it's a crater here. So it gives you, you see, so it's like crater. So it shows how the contours act and the topographic position index has helped you in terms of